Hey, and welcome to Nooch Pips. Quick hit, in-depth reviews of every character card in LEGO Star Wars Battles. And today on Nooch Pips, we're looking at the Booma Balls. Stuns and damages enemies in their path. These are exploding Booma Balls or Mui Mui Bombard for user enemies. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's what they do. The Booma Balls are an essential unit in your deck. If you've got them, it doesn't matter what level you have them at, put them in your deck. They roll down the field, four Booma Balls roll down the field, and, and, and they stun everything in their path, or they stun everything till it stops. It's like the first law of thermodynamics that an object in, an object in motion will continue in motion unless it's impacted by outside forces. And that's what a Booma Ball is. It's just physics, man. It's Einstein knew about Booma Balls back in the day. They go until they hit something, and then they stun that something they hit. They also do some damage, but primarily they stun it. And they can wipe out a battalion of battle droids. They can stun anything else that's in their path. There are four of them they roll down. They roll all the way down until they, they can kill a sniper on the other end of the field. The Booba Balls are essential. 100% have to be in your deck, much like the Seismic Charge, Kind of the uh, the ugly twin of the Booma Balls. Little, not quite as cool, just as effective. So that's the dark side version. We're going to go right into the gameplay. The gameplay was very easy to find. And it's going to show several examples. We're going to use Booma Balls on offense. We're going to use Booma Balls on defense. We're going to use Booma Balls every way possible. It's going to take us a minute to get there. But the Booma Ball footage is very easy to find because Nooch uses them. And everybody uses them every time they play. You are always using Booma Balls because they are that important. Okay, so no boo boo balls yet. We're using Tauntauns and Porgs and Ewoks. We took out the middle tower. We're going in the tower back there. So there's that seismic charge, that ugly twin of the boo boo balls, not quite as cool, uh, but just as effective, took out all those Ewoks in this case. Okay, so what are we gonna do now? Rudd and Nooch with the same energy. We both have a tower up. This is a dead heat right now. So we're just kind of waiting each other out to see what happens. Oh, Rudd. All right, dropping Darth Vader. You're much better holding all your energy, saving up, and then responding to your enemy like Nooch is about to do, as opposed to spending everything you got. Now Nooch has 10 and can respond to what's on the field. Unfortunately, Nooch is a little slow on the trigger with Luke or didn't place him right. Should have placed him a little bit farther out to take the X-Wing fire and take fire from Luke and then had the X-Wing out of range of that special. Regardless, BB-8 has now stunned the middle tower. The Tauntaun's going to town. Uh, the porgs are going on the stormtrooper. Luke's going to come in and finish this off and use the yep, use the special and kill the tower and the stormtrooper. There you go. BB-8 down. They bombered BB-8 and the Tauntaun, but the Booba Balls came down and stunned everything again. So that's where you see the Booba Balls. Tauntaun gets stunned, but because everything was slowed down enough and stunned enough, Luke is able to go down and finish off that tower as well. Now, Nooch has a tower in the middle, and I think we're going to see some Boom Balls on defense here in a minute. There's the Battle Droids. We're going to use them there. Now we're going to drop a flock of Porgs on them. You drop a flock of Porgs on a, boom, on a Battle Droid Battalion, and the Battle Droid Battalion is done. The Particle Beam shreds Vader. Well, that was not a good Vader drop. You can't drop something next to a Particle Beam without a plan for stunning things around it or attacking that part Particle Beam as a swarm. If you're not attacking as a swarm, you better stun that thing. Okay, so the Adat is coming to the particle beam, and the Booma Balls go in and do about, well, look at that, maybe uh, maybe a third damage the Adat and stun it with enough for the particle beam to finish it off. Particle beam finishes the Guavian, and there we go. The Tauntaun on the tower, the, part, the Booma Balls came in, stunned it, and helped finish it off. That's how the Booma Balls work. On offense, they can stun and do damage all the way down the field. They can also play defense against, like, a... Tying the battle droids, a sniper, or an ad at as you saw there. So keep using your boomer balls every time. If you got them at level one, put them in your deck, stun stuff with them, use the boomer balls all the time. And every time you launch them down the field, just 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 send off a little happy thought, and you can you can remember, nooch too good. <laughs>